Took it to the rack like a grown man. And looks like he's just getting started. Double dribble. Years ago, I think it was 14. Basketball can be a basic sport. These guys for the Houston seniors must box out. Well, boxing out. Not in effect whatsoever. I called on DeMarco Henry. First personal team foul in the group. Second and third shot. Second and third shot. Back up. You don't want to. What do you call it? Australian Institute. I got your support. And this is a turn team from Australia also, but what you can say about the Australian team, by me being overseas, I get an opportunity to see a lot of foreign institutes, and these kids get the opportunity to play with each other 365 days out of the year. Wow, that, that's big time. This is group here by that practice of once and twice. And you're correct. It looked like the Houston seniors are still trying to find a rhythm and get some type of continuity with the, each other. Because that guy, Mr. Greenwood. Rebound by me by Will Sinclair. Everett 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Houston Stingers. I'm sure. Coach Patrick will make a run. No, it, it's too early. Yes. Coach Patrick is pulling the trigger on a few different things. Like I say, the Houston seniors are still finding the continuity within the team. Glad to play to send all these kids play at least once or twice this year. They've got a good group of kids there. And as you said earlier, Australian team is keeping overseas. They they practice and sleep together and work together and play together, so it's, it's a big deal. Another flush by Mr. Pleasant. If the Houston seniors are going to make a run, they need to at least get it back under 10. Make it a little bit more respectable. Look, looks like they're trying to speed the game up a little bit. They can get, you're right, if they can get 10 or within 10 by halftime, that's a successful half. They got to compete. Turnover. Foul. Foul called on Kinsley Bolton. Second person on team foul number four. Substitutions are in for the Australian Institute. Hugh Greenwood. I did not get you the logo they got on the uniform. We'll have to talk to him and see what that is. Yes. Frank, I don't know what that is, man. It's not a, a typical, but no international <laughs> unit. Sometimes. What a steal. Still turnover, assist, dang it, Tris. Got a bucket. Yep. Every time they make a little run, the Australians answer, or they turn it over. Big Kobe! It's nice. Spin move. If we can shine a little light on anyone from the Houston singing team, it will be Jacoby Harris. I agree. I agree. Competition for the youth and seniors. Brendan Thompson and DeMarco Henry. Houston seniors possession. We got a pretty fair crowd here tonight for this international ball game against hey, I'm the I'm senior I'm international team, but they also want to see some of these local high school stars. I guess what the question is, you know, a high school player is only allowed to play an X amount of all-star games. Does this count against a guy? Bobby uh, Gray. The freak. They get two or three games to play in. This is a real struggling going on. Get the lane, draw the contact, you gotta finish up shots right there. Houston Seniors playing for one shot with eight seconds left. They can shot, they can get within ten or nine. To the line. Blocking foul called on number six, Jackson, Jackson Hussey. First personal team foul, number six. You said they give it to the kid with half. Two free throws for Bobby Green. That to be something to feel good about. Five yes. points at the moment. I tell you, I'm really impressed with this Australian team, though. This Australian team has taken the Europe <laughs> out of the Europe. But they're not Europe, they're from Down Valley, and Down Valley is a little bit tougher. 
they play a grown man game of basketball. Yes, they are very athletic, very physical <laughs> team. It's time to play. You're right about that. 16 minutes. Shake the line up a little bit. Was just off a state championship semifinal run, can ignite the team. I tell you, Australians have extended the perimeter defense and put him at the top. And he's like six five. That's a lot. That's, that's a big guy up front. Big guy. Big guy. They came here, Mr. Easy one. Gather yourself. I tell you, mate, these guys can play. They can flat out play. And they all seem like to be in control. Really, really, that's a great point. Great point. You make a great point. Some moves you can get when you're in high school. But at the next level, five nine going into the paint. You went into the trees and you got chopped up. Chopped up. But you know what? It's a great move until you got there and saw the big fellas standing in there. Young yeah, man, tell it's very important to develop a mid range jump shot. Well, you know, Frank sitting here beside you, I really couldn't tell. Man. You look like the sixth I think the seniors kind of came out thought the home game for us. They're all stars, they all got something to show. Big man is going to work. Jesus. Yeah, you Uber. Putting in work. You putting in work. Big Jacoby Harrison is putting in work. Another box out job. Look at it. Look at it. The referees are allowed in the play. Down call down the West Coast. His first personal. He found number two. This is the dad from the Basketball Connection. For all of your high school players and junior college players who are serious about playing college basketball, don't miss the BBC Spring Recruiting Combine to be held Saturday, April 16th at the Forge in Houston, Texas. For more information, visit bbcplayers.com and click on Combine.